A few years ago, I started using an Amazon Alexa as the smart home assistant of choice, but have since migrated to HomePods. I don't see that changing anytime soon, but that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement. So in this video, I'm gonna go over five things I'd like to see change with the HomePod line of products. Apple has been all over privacy for a while now, saying that they respect your privacy more than its competitors. And I think in many cases, this is probably true. So it's a little weird when the HomePod doesn't have a physical mute button like the Amazon and Google devices do. Apple says security and privacy are fundamental to the design of the HomePod. Only things you say after the wake word are sent to Apple servers. And even then, everything is encrypted and made anonymous. I think the issue is sometimes the HomePod thinks you said the wake word when you didn't. So sometimes things get sent to Apple servers that weren't supposed to be. On Amazon Echoes and Nest devices, there's a physical switch that you can use to mute them from listening. I really think Apple needs to add this physical mute switch to make it easier to turn the HomePod off and back on from listening. There is a way to turn off listening for the wake word by saying, hey, stop listening, or you can go into the Home app and turn it off that way. But the only way to turn it back on is by going back into the Home app. It's super inconvenient, and I would think based on Apple's claims on privacy, that they would have put this on the HomePod. In general, when you ask the HomePod to do a smart home command like setting a scene or even just turning on a light, if that device you're controlling is in a different room than where the HomePod is physically, Siri will let you know if it was able to do the thing that you wanted. Okay. If the devices are in the same room physically, usually the HomePod does the command and it doesn't say anything because you can just see if it worked. I really think that this needs to be the behavior for everything, or at least a setting that I can enable. I think if the command fails for whatever reason, the HomePod could just flash red or then Siri could tell me that it didn't work. But if it does work, that's awesome. Just don't tell me. This is especially frustrating for things like ambient sounds, now playing rain, which are on the HomePod, happening on the HomePod not in a different room. I don't need a confirmation about this. I just think that the beauty of a smart home assistant is that it's always there waiting for you to just yell things into the air. I don't wanna think about it beyond that. Just let me yell into the air and continue on with what I'm doing. I keep a Google Nest Hub in my kitchen, on mute most of the time. I keep it because it's an amazing digital picture frame and I will keep using Google Photos for this reason alone. With the Google Nest Hub, it automatically shows you pictures from your Google Photos account, and it does a really good job of choosing them. I don't think I have ever seen like a screenshot show up. It seems like Apple could easily make a HomePod with a screen, basically just an iPad on a stand that I could then put into like a picture frame mode. We already have an idea of what this feature could be like with the Photos widget on iOS that came out this last year. The Photos widget does exactly what the Nest Hub does. It shows you highlighted photos and memories, and it's actually been really good. I'm sure something like this could also be nice for FaceTime calls. Apple now lets you use the big HomePod as a default speaker for an Apple TV. It helped me simplify my living room setup a lot, and it actually sounds pretty good. But I think they could integrate the HomePods much more with the Apple TV. Out of the box, I'd like to be able to tell Siri to start a show that I was watching and have everything just start playing. This would probably take some sort of partnership with streaming services to make it happen, but Apple does make their own TV shows also. So I'm not sure why I can't tell my HomePod to start playing one of those shows or even to search for things to watch without having to pick up the remote. Some of this stuff can be manually set up with shortcuts. Like you can set up opening an app or turning the TV off but you can't integrate with anything that you're watching. And also, Apple has a lot of this information already with their TV app. Apple wants the TV app to be the home screen of your TV. It recommends things to watch and also shows you where you left off on things that you have been watching. So a lot of the time, Apple already knows what you've been watching. Netflix doesn't support this, which is definitely a big deal, but many other major services do, like Hulu and Disney+. Plus. So it should be easy for them to make this happen. Also, there's really no reason why the HomePod mini can't be set as the default output 
for the Apple TV. Apple says it's because the Mini lacks the spatial awareness needed for virtual surround sound. But just don't enable virtual surround sound. You can send the audio to a Mini or even a pair of Minis manually with AirPlay. So it does work. Just let me set it as default though. I don't personally think that the HomePod and Siri need to improve too much on basic smart home tasks. I rarely have issues setting timers, checking the weather, sending messages, answering calls. It just works really well for me. It's frustrating though when I ask something that's more obscure and either the HomePod gives an answer that I wasn't looking for or it just sends the search results to my phone. I probably would have picked up my phone and searched it myself if I wanted that. But this is actually pretty rare for me. I think Apple just needs to figure out a way to get more products to support HomeKit, which also means the HomePod. Amazon has Ring and Google has Nest. Apple doesn't really have anything like that to compare. And because of that, it's just not as easy to find HomeKit products, which makes it frustrating when I'm trying to commit to a smart home platform. It was just this last round of updates that Apple made it possible to view HomeKit cameras on the Apple TV, which I think was about three years after Amazon made that happen with the Fire TV and Ring devices. Apple usually does a pretty good job integrating its products with one another, but usually not so much with other companies' products, which is exactly what they need to do to make the HomePod better. I have come to really like using the HomePods in my home, but they are far from perfect. I have two large HomePods as my Apple TV speakers and currently one mini in my kitchen. They do basically everything I want them to do, but I still have days where I look at what Amazon and Google are doing and I wish Apple was more on their level with the HomePods. I'm going to continue using my HomePods, but I still have a hard time recommending them for other people to buy. They just need to make some of these things happen first.